The sky may have been overcast, but the weather didn't overshadow the excitement of hundreds of people who filled Parliament Square this morning to witness the reading of the speech from the throne, the feature event of the opening of Parliament. Attendees erupted into rounds of applause and expressions of affirmation as Governor General His Excellency Sir Arthur Folkes voiced the ambitious proposals of the Christie administration pertaining to crime, the economy, health care and more. Familiar campaign themes were formally presented to the electorate today in a speech from the throne in which His Excellency Sir Arthur Folkes detailed proposals for licking crime and building a stronger economy, described as the, quote, two overriding imperatives, end quote. On crime, there's a mixture of the tried and tested and a fresh approach to the stubborn menace. My government will immediately reinstate and expand the urban renewal program to serve as a core instrument to combat the underlying social causes of crime and violence. My government will establish an Urban Renewal Commission to facilitate interagency collaboration and coordination in the delivery of services to the community. My government will, as a matter of high priority, introduce a national crime management agenda comprising effective prevention, detection, prosecution, and rehabilitation. The Christie administration also promises a national intelligence agency to address major crime made up of all the law enforcement agencies, along with a national firearms control strategy. It's proposed that swift justice and school policing will be reintroduced and the legislation guiding the term of the police commissioner repealed. My government will move for the repeal of all provisions of the Police Act, which are unconstitutional or attempt to politicize the police force or undermine the impartiality and security of tenure of the commissioner and deputy commissioner of police. Speaking to the economy, the speech acknowledged the need to address homeowners in financial distress. For them, a voluntary mortgage plan for the real estate market, an incentive to get things moving. My government will therefore work with the clearing banks and other institutional lenders to develop a financially sustainable mortgage relief program aimed at assisting distressed homeowners in saving their homes from foreclosure. Participation in such a program would be voluntary. My government, in an effort to stimulate the real estate market, will also make good on its commitment to lower the maximum rate of stamp duty on land sales from 12% to 10% and will also reintroduce a maximum cap on real property tax. For Grand Bahama, the second city sidelined by economic woes, an exclusive relief plan. Meantime, increasing rooms, downtown development, and airlift are also features of the speech, along with the national health insurance. Meantime, going back on past agenda items, the speech speaks to interests of two vulnerable groups, children and the disabled, and legislation to protect them. And finally, addressing the lingering gambling debate, the Christie administration promises to get and act on public consensus once and for all. My government would also hold a referendum for the Bahamian people to decide whether a national lottery should be instituted and or whether web shop type gaming should be decriminalized but nonetheless regulated in accordance with internationally accepted best practices and in a way that would ensure optimal revenue generation for the country.